Trying to make multiples of the same thing? Measurements are better than luck. I'm working on a backpack project for a friend and I'm making one of the inner organizer pockets and wanted to have a couple of pen slots and honestly I made a few different ones. I kept making the same mistake of thinking that if I just eyeball it and get lucky I'll get all the pen slots to be consistent every time without having to take measurements and use math and that's just dumb. Uh, every now and then you get lucky. I've made some pockets with pen slots before and had them come out okay, but I, I wanted it to be uh, a little more accurate on this project. So I'm going to show you the method I used to make these pen slots all come out the same size. And if you happen to know a better way than the method I show, by all means, please leave a comment and let all of us know what it is because uh, anything I can do to make this process easier and faster would be great. Here's how I did it. So to start with, I just laid the pin down and drew a line on each side, leaving plenty of room. Uh, you know, this pin has some wider parts and some narrower parts, so there's enough room that the pin can slide in. Then I just take a measurement of that width of the two lines. I'm using centimeters. Uh, because I like to use metric system for this kind of stuff, but you could certainly use whatever measurement you want. And what I came up with is about one and a half centimeters width. Next I need to know how much material I need to create enough height or volume for the pin to slide easily in and out. So to find that out, I'll just measure from one line and go over the pin and then measure to the other line. And I get three centimeters and just to give it a little bit of extra space I used three and a half centimeters. Next I need to make a few marks on the back panel that the panel with the pin sleeves is going to be sewn to. And first I need to mark where I want the pen slots to start. In my case that was 12 centimeters. And then I need to make marks for each of the pin sleeves and for these marks I'll be using the one and a half centimeters because this is where the uh, actual seams will be sewn. Now I need to mark the panel that will have the pin sleeves in it. I'll start by making the first mark where the sleeves will begin and that's also uh, 12 centimeters the same as on the first piece. And now I'll mark for the pin sleeves. And this is where I want to use the three and a half centimeter marks because these are going to be gathered to create the volume to have the pins in them. To make sure your stitch lines run straight, you can make duplicate marks towards the bottom of your material to have something to shoot for. You could also draw a line depending on your fabric and what you're marking it with. You just want to make sure that anything you mark your fabric with you'll be able to remove the marks later uh, because this will all be visible in the finished product.
So that's how I made my pin sleeves, and they turned out perfectly. But again, if you know an easier method, by all means, please share it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you join us as a subscriber to the channel. Thanks for watching.